I know this was my idea, but my expectations for this are falling fast. Don't worry, things get hairy, I'll protect you. Oh, just because you play dress up every night doesn't mean that you're better equipped than me. Oh, that's right. If we get into trouble, you'll just hit him with a whiny monologue and a solid dose of not using your powers. I'm about to not use my powers to punch you in the neck. Here to see the keeper? I called earlier. Yes or no? Yep. Oh, could you get the door? Welcome to the vault. Have a button. I am the keeper of the keeper of the secrets. Uh, how did you hear about us? Internet. Oh, you've been to my site. Great. Yeah, uh, Dreamweaver's harder to use than I expected. That's your website? It is, yeah. Come on. I keep telling the keeper he doesn't need to keep all that information locked up in his head. You know, we live in a digital age. Information's for anyone with a little bit of curiosity in a search engine, but he's so stuck in the from my lips to their ears rhetoric. Ugh. Purpose of your visit? I think we should save that for him. Secretive, huh? I like your style. Ready to have your faces melted off? This guy's like a human Ark of the Covenant. But don't be afraid, don't be scared. There's nothing to be afraid of unless you're afraid of having your mind blown. Master, there are some people here to see you. I told you not to call me that. Ready for you. Noise helps quiet the mind, but it takes a few decibels. All right, you may each ask one yes or no question about your death. I'm kidding. I don't know that stuff. Or do I? Can I ask what you do know? I know the secrets of the past, and therefore the true shape of the present, <laughs> and the path of the future. How's that? I'm not technically supposed to tell you, but to be honest, you know, it's not a bad idea to have an excuse to talk about this once in a while. You have no idea what it's like to have mounds and mounds of knowledge pent up without any practical outlet. I'm what's known as the Keeper of Secrets. We Keepers possess centuries of knowledge that's normally lost over time. We pass down information that most civilizations have forgotten, or in their endeavor to disempower have turned into folklore. We're the living catalogs of the unspoken truths. And we try to keep the more dangerous stuff out of the wrong hands. You know, an evil mind can twist the power of knowledge into something dangerous. So to keep it out of their reach, I courageously never leave this basement. The vault! I know the secrets of the keepers before me and the one before him and... It's all very exhausting. So I do everything I can not to think. Because when you know all the secrets, you can think yourself to death. Now, you guys got some questions? Yeah, where might someone theoretically find superpowers? Actually, we're here to find out about someone who attracts danger. Human? That's another option. Yeah, a girl. Female. Young or old? Young. Yeah, well, there's a couple possibilities, but she's probably a damsel. A, a damsel? damsel? Yeah, yeah, historically, a damsel can be activated anywhere where a hero has risen. It appears that, uh, Trouble's drawn to where she is, but actually she's instinctually drawn to where trouble already exists. So she's not so much of a lightning rod as she is like a road map. Yeah, semantics. Life expectancy varies. Does it ever stop? Yeah, the cycle doesn't stop until the unexpected hero saves the damsel from the danger she least expects. Blah, 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 blah. Why do you guys want to know this? Have you found a hero? You know, you know, never mind, I don't even want to know. I'm already at capacity with this. 
Just for argument's sake, where would like a hero get superpowers? Radiation. For real? Well, in like every comic. What about like evolutionary genetic mutation? Blame. Okay, so historically speaking, where have superpowers come from in real life? You know, I hate to be the one to break it to you guys, but not everything you hear is folklore. Sorry. Sometimes it's just fiction. See? What'd I tell you? Maybe they're like twins, Joe. There's like four of them. What if they're clones? Like science, not sci-fi. Still a good reason to grab one. Maybe they time-traveled here, and they're from the future. How is that more likely than her having powers? We followed that one from Recon Target Alpha, but we don't know where the other one came from. Recon Target Alpha, Ricky? Can't you just say the apartment? You're being weird again. No, what's weird, she's wearing different clothes. How is that weird? All the other ones we followed were wearing identical clothing. Why is she different? Oh, maybe she's like Lachula Primo, man. You know, the original fish dish. Precious, you and Danny keep an eye on this one. Carl and I will follow the new Dude, one. Dude, stop giving orders. We're going to do what he said, but only because I'm confirming it with my authority. Alright gang, we're gonna break into this house and recover a priceless artifact. Two, you're on lookout. Three, check all the doors and windows for a way to get in. While I do the hardest part of all. Got it? Nice! Perfect. Alright, we're gonna take her. Wait, what? Just the two of us? Yeah, we don't need the other guys. Who wants to share the glory? Plus, I thought you wanted to redeem yourself after let the boss's wife go. I didn't let her go. She escaped. That's even worse. How do we get her out of there? We ask nicely. Fast, little lady. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm guessing this guy here is allergic to bullets. The second that you heard him? How about the version where nobody dies? You take a ride with us, and Mr. Gun to his head here can get dinner started. Deal. Bella! Here comes the hood. All right. How'd she take it? Who? Oh. Oh, Estelle. I haven't told her. You didn't tell her she's a damsel? I thought I'd give it some time. She's been really tired. It's good news. You know why this is happening to her and that it doesn't have to last forever. The more we hang out, the sooner we're going to find the danger she least expects, and then she won't need me anymore. For real? She just needs some more time to get to know me better. Sure. Underneath these oven mitts are a couple of weapons. But those weapons are attached to a man, and that man is powered by a heart. Jonas! Are you really not going to tell her? I'm going to tell her, but can I have a couple seconds of happiness before I have to give it all up again? And how exactly do you think you're going to find crime while you're hiding from your girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend yet, but there is an important mystery that needs to be dealt with. Take the mitt off. I got these two tickets. I don't know where the bar is. Can you look it up for me? I'm sure the power surges have stopped by now. You can use a computer. Can't risk it. I live in a tub. A computer is one of the only luxuries I can afford. It's not even your computer. It's Virginia's. I don't know what I'd do without it. It's not a guy now. Boosh. Couldn't have done it without me. Wow, I'm, I'm legit impressed. I didn't think you guys could actually pull it off. We almost didn't. That guy had it locked up pretty good. You know, I, I bet he did. Uh, thank you so much, really. I, you'll get your money as soon as I get my allowance, I promise. Tell your friends if they can pay in advance. Did it seem like he was acting weird? 
I'm not sure this is over. <laughs>